Okay, so when you first open the mock-up, you're gonna get something like this, card 01. Uh, to edit this card and add your own design, double-click the layer shown below. 01 card, double-click to add your artwork. So smart object for that is here. So I'm gonna double-click that. Um, I've already had, I've already got a design here, which I've added, but just to show you, I'm gonna add a different one. So let's copy this. That would be your design that you'd have to paste into this smart object and you might have to scale it up like I'm doing here. So scale it up and save and close. Okay, so if I go back to it, you can now see that that design has been applied to the smart object. Okay, so the actual card is here. This is the smart object here. So you can pick the card up. It's got its own shadow that will follow it around and you can move it around to wherever you want in the background. Let's quickly cover the background. So background is the same thing. It's got its own smart object. It's up here. Background, double click to change the color. If I go into this, I've got a bunch of pre-made uh, backgrounds in here. I'll first, I'll show you the color. So let's fill it full of a different color. Let's go for a blue. Fill that in, save, close. Okay, so that's updating the smart object in the original file. And there we go, we've got the background. Uh, down here, you've got the background layer. There's a lighten layer and a darken layer. You can adjust the opacity on both of these. Uh, the lighten layer will just lighten up the background slightly. and the darkened background will do the same with the shadow. I'm gonna keep that on 5% because I think that's a pretty good compromise to making it look like natural lighting. Um, now, if you don't want a background at all, you can just switch that off and that's the original studio background that I shot the photography on. So if you just want a plain white background, that's fine, you can have that. Okay, so if I go back up to the smart object for the background. I'm going to double click on it again to open it. And I've got a bunch of pre-made backgrounds in here. They vary from woods, red ash wood, to marbles, to sort of a flooring, distressed flooring and sort of concrete sort of look. Let's go with a white marble. I'm going to save that and close. It's updating the smart object. And there you see the background applied. I've duplicated the smart object in this file twice. So that's an additional two cards and they're down here and they're labeled red. So this is one and it says card 02. And this is one and it says card 03. Again, for these, just double click the smart objects up here that relate, it tells you uh, here to double click the smart object up here. Um, so I'm going to switch those off for now. You can, however, rotate any of these folders uh, and the envelopes that I'm about to show you now. So envelope front view. Let me just move that out of the way. So there's the envelope front view. There's the white envelope back view. So you can stack these how you see fit. You could put it on top of the card if you like. If you want it on top of the card, you'd have to drag this layer above the card design and you see that now pops in front of the other one. So I'm gonna undo that. And you've also got a brown envelope front and back. So there's the back, let's move this card. Let's create our own composition. So I just want it to be dropping below uh, and that's it. So that looks pretty good to me. You could save that out. You could put it on your Etsy store. You could put it on your own website. It's very, uh, it's a decent uh, high res image. You might have to scale it down for Etsy. It's 6,000 by 4,000 pixels at 300 DPI. So it's pretty, pretty substantial resolution. Let me just quickly show you one of the other cards so I can add a design to those. So again, this is card, that's card one. This is card two. So I'm gonna edit card two smart object. Again, I've got a design in here that I put in there earlier save, close, and now we've got two cards with the same design. So I'm gonna come back to this, and I'm gonna rotate this one, 
like this. So I'm showing off the design and I'm making it look like one card is stacked above the other. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or queries about the product, feel free to contact me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, enjoy.